what, water in Jerusalem is one of the most problematic things until today. But if you will go to the time of King Herod and even before that, the Maccabees, the Hashmonite, and even before it, at the first temple time, it was so difficult to have water. And water is not only for drinking, it's for purification as well. That place um, that we are visiting now at the beginning of September 2021 uh, was one of the options for water and, 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 and the importance of the location, the location importance is that if you will go to the left, uh, you will reach the Jewish temple, which is today Haram al-Sharif. It's, um, let's say, 200 meters from here. Then every drop of water was important. That used to be a valley and the here in the lowest place, they built some pools, uh, mainly from uh, uh, rain, rain water. Then that pool was for drinking, was for uh, the use of the temple, the Jewish temple, and for, to cure yourself as well. We know it as the sheep. Um, Paul, but for the Christians, you know it better as Bethesda. That pool that you see here originally was built by King Herod, but that was true at the first and second uh, uh, century. You can see one of the pools is there, and there's a wall, and there's another pool there. And later on, when the Christians came to the, uh, sorry, when the Romans came to you after King Herod, they turned it into a healing processing area, and we will see it like that. We know that, according to the Romans, um, when the water actually started to shake, uh, the healing procession actually started, and the first and the few first one who entered to, to the pool were cured by Asclepius. Oh, I'm afraid of it. The medic medicine uh, god of the Romans. We believe that that the Romans built on top of um, traditions here. And I want you to understand that the time of King Herod, he lived in the Roman era. What you see all over, and let me climb back again, that later on the Byzantines, the first Christians built here a church dedicated to Mary, which was all the way from there. You can see some of the columns until the end of uh, almost the end of uh, the poles. It was huge. What you see here is only a remains of a small chapel that was built here at the 12th century by, um, uh, by the crusader in between. That church, the Byzantine church that was dedicated to Mary, being destroyed by the Muslims. If you go down there, you will see water systems. And should I go to that? Should I not? Should I do that? Let's do that. Though it's a little bit dark. And this is part of the Crusader church, 12th century. In winter time, when you're reaching that area, you will find some water in the... All right. Dark. You know, can see something? Yes, you can see a little bit. Oh, it's even better at, the, at um, with the camera. So sensitive, my dear camera. So sensitive. Wow, it's beautiful. It's so cool now. All right, you got the message. I'm not going down all the way, but this one of the water systems that was used by the crusader, uh, the dead church was above it. It's hot, my dears. It's hot again. Uh, 
<sighs> Beautiful. Another entry to water system. Believe the church. <clears throat> Beautiful, isn't it? That wall is a Byzantine wall. They divided the two poles. There is the other side, just behind that church. You could find uh, the northern pole, and we are now heading to the southern pole. Sorry, to the northern. The other one was the south, of course. Let's climb up. I think you hear me I'm snoring. It's because of my asthma a problem, but I will survive. And because it's hot. I just came from that neighborhood, Babel Hutta. And later on, uh, we will go back again to that neighborhood. But from here, you can see beautifully the Crusader Church and remember the Byzantine one was big in that tent. The Crusader built another church here and you can see it from front of you, uh, 12th century and that is the story of Mary. Then here is Bethesda, uh, remember I think it's chapter 5, book of John. Uh, Jesus came to here, he came to here because a few reasons. The first one is that uh, that was a purification area. Mm -hmm. Look at the pole. That was a purification area. And, um, but the healing process as well. And he came to here on Shabbat and he saw a football and he saw um, a lamb, lamb man who was there for 30 years, 38 years, beyond lots of time. And that lame couldn't be the first one to enter the post to, to be cured. Then in that case, Jesus asked him, why are you not entering? And he said, I cannot because no one helps me. And then he said, stand up and go. That's it. And that's what he did. The problem was that he told him to take his bed with him. This is not so good. This wasn't good because on Shabbat you can cure people, but uh, you couldn't ask him to take his bed with. You could ask him uh, to come at, on Sunday and to take his bed. That's why the Jews weren't so happy, because to cure people, that is more than okay. But to, to work on Shabbat, that wasn't okay. Then the Byzantine church was full over, and the small one that you see here is the Crusader one. Let's, climb, let's go through the garden. Then the Crusader in the 13th, 12th century, Divided the stories. One is about the lamb gay guy that has the pole, and the other one is about the birthplace of Mary. All right, remember, 
I'm entering to a problematic son because the Catholic Greek Orthodox will accept it. The uh, rest won't don't know about that story. Now let me sit and talk about it here in the shade while we are looking at the church. Both of them are crusader, that one, and this small one. According to the story, uh, Mary, Anna and Joachim, the parents of Mary, were too old to bring children. They tried, they couldn't. And then an angel came to them and told them that they're going to have a child. Nine months later, exactly like the story of Jesus, uh, and Hannah in Hebrew, uh, had her first child and the only child, Mary. Mary was important and, uh, and uh, pure and because of it from age of three she used to save the temple which was which is all right can you see uh, the tower there the top of the tower that is the site of the temple man the second temple then in that case uh, she served the temple for so many years until she got the first period and then they had to find someone who would take care of her and that was John. That was Joseph. The rest you know. Now if you don't know that, uh, that story, if you're not accepting it, it's okay. But that church was built for that and uh, Salahadin who conquered that city, uh, 12th century, destroyed uh, almost every part of the city, but not that church, because Muslims believe in in Mary as well. Then, in that matter, that church was used as a madrasa, a school for girls for so many years, and then uh, later on, at the end of the 19th century, the Ottomans gave it to the French, and you can see the French flag there, and from right now, I mean, and this is one of the almost first and and well-built crusader church. I cannot talk in it, then it's a Romanesque church, uh, an early crusader church, uh, beautiful. And the acoustic there is so amazing. In it, in the crypt, you can find the birthplace of Mary. There's always new rules that I don't know if I can take a video there. If not, I do have some videos of it anyhow, then you can use it. One day they allowed me to do that, the other day not. Beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Look how beautiful it is from here. You can see the remains of the apse of uh, the Byzantine church. It was almost until the end of the pools. And on top of it, the small one here is the uh, Crusader one. I want to show you one of the places that we, be that we believe that the Romans used as a healing processing area. Uh, with a beautiful mosaic and then we will enter to the church itself <laughs> that place was closed for so many uh, for at least one here because of COVID-19 and if I'm talking about that that I'm not working for more than one and a half year and you are my family now, you are my tourist. Then in that matter, if you want to, and that actually started from you and I'm accepting it because it actually helps me a lot. If you want to um, support me, then go to the link, which is at the description, it's called buy me a coffee. And by that you can support me and you can ask me to light candles for you. Or to put a note between the western wall stones, the western wall, the wedding wall. Oh, they cover it. But you can see how beautiful the mosaics floor were. They just cover it. Let me see if they kept a little bit for us. 
not even a bit. That beneath that carpet is that mosaic floor that you saw. Then, um, if you, if that is your first video, please subscribe my channel and be my family. You can ask me whatever you want, and if you reach that point, write me. I want to know who you are the brave one who actually reach it. Um, I will enter to the pool, to the to the church. It might be the next video, but I'm not sure that I will be allowed to. to we are at the That's where Jesus uh, healed the lamb man. And you can see the pools here. I just took a video of it. The pools are earlier than the time of Herod, but what you see here mainly is from the time of Herod and up. The church was, was built by the Crusaders at the 12th century and in a Romanist way. And you can see that it's like one big nave and two uh, corridors. Uh, the, the acoustic is one of the best and if in the regular times that you will be able to go in, you can, uh, you can sing like one person can sing and everyone will actually hear it uh, like a big chorus of people. It's absolutely lovely. The crypt is down there and that's where Mary was born. The story tells us, and that is a well-known story, a tradition um, from the Gospel of, of uh, James from 2nd century uh, about what's happened to Mary before. Then if you're not accepting it, it's okay. It's okay, but the church was built for that. Uh, um, the parents of Mary, Anna and Joachim, uh, were too old to bring a child. They tried to have a child that they couldn't. Then the angel came to them and said, in about one, nine months, months, you will have a child. God choose you for that. And that's how Mary was born, sinless. Um, because they lived here and because she was different than others, she served the temple, which is not so far away from here. And uh, at the age of 12, 13, when she got the first period and she became unclean, um, someone else took care of her because her parents already died, and that was Joseph. The rest of the story, you know. Um, at after the Crusade time, Salah Din destroyed that church in 1187 uh, uh, um, and it turned into a um, madrasa school, a uh, girl school, mainly because the Muslims believe in, in Mary as well. There are two chapters that are dedicated to Mary. Later on at the, Crusade, at, at the Ottoman time, they brought it back to the French who helped the Turkish, and uh, from that day, it's uh, a church, St. Anne Church. Then let's see if I can take a video of it in, because uh, from time to time, yes, but time to time, no. We are now entering through the main door. We'll go straight to the nativity place. <laughs> 